Hi everyone, this is me, Morgan Brian Birch, reporting for Kids First, age 13. We are going to have a magnificent and terrific time talking to the winners and the writers of the future illustrator event. It's going to be magnificent. We're going to talk to some of the terrific people who have won and also some of the people who have competed in this terrific event. There are going to be writers and illustrators and we're going to have a magnificent time at this barbecue. It's the 34th anniversary of this fantastic event and the theme is Wizards and Magic. We are also going to have a terrific time going to the MacArthur on the 8th, and it's going to be fantastic with and our you guests. you don't want to miss it. <laughs> yes, we don't. So make sure to check out my channel as well as writersofthefuture.com. So make sure to go and have a fantastic time and also come and see all the excitement because we want to have fun and go and have met. We are here with Jasmine Richardson, who is a magnificent illustrator. So what's the name of your painting or drawing? Um, a Bitter Thing. I just named it after the book. Okay. Yeah. So what is it about? Like what, what was the drawing based off of? Um, I used a lot of symbolism from the like the pieces inside of it because it's based around color a lot and um, the shapes and s items that are inside of it. What is one of your favorite things about the illustration besides like the red hexagons? Do you like the colors the most? The detailed drawing lines? Like your personality that you put into it? Um, I really like the black smoke. I have I'm not really mastered it yet, but it's a lot of fun to do. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I mean, you always get to have a little fun when doing that. Yeah. You get to always, like, throw your brushes and everything. Yeah, like swirls. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Like whip motions. <laughs> <laughs> so how young were you when you actually got into illustrating and drawing? Because, of course, every child does love doing this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been drawing since I can remember. Like, I can still remember the first time I colored in the lines when I was in, like, kindergarten. <laughs> But um, I didn't think about it as a career until about two years ago. I hope that you win this fantastic competition. Thank you. We are here with Jeremy Tegortenheist, who does the story, The Minarets of Anzerbot. So what do you think this tale is really about? Like, it's an interim message. Um, it's kind of about like how people deal with their own identity in the context of large political forces that are acting on them that they don't fully understand. Um, it's inspired by a book called Imagined Communities by Benedict Anderson, which is kind of all about um, like the post-colonial era in history. So that's kind of where I drew the inspiration. True. I mean, you always have to have some kind of inspiration. Yeah. So besides this book, who was like your favorite inspiration as a child that inspired you to be a fantastic uh, writer? Uh, uh, I had a lot of different people who inspired me to start writing. Um, when I was a kid, I was... I actually read a lot of Kevin J. Anderson's Star Wars books. I read a lot of Ursula Le Guin, like her Earthsea series. Um, and I read a lot of Tolkien. And then as I got older, you know, I just decided, like, I love these, these stories and I want to make my own. So. Yeah, I mean, who can argue with a hobbit and all that? Yeah, right, right. And um, I just, my mom was a, a, a former English teacher. And so she just encouraged us to do artistic stuff. And I just, I guess I started writing. And the first story that I remember writing, I was about 10 and I had watched about the first half of the James Bond movie Moonraker. And my parents decided that, that was not an appropriate movie for a 10 year old. And so they sent me upstairs while uh, my older brother and my dad finished watching the movie. And so I sat down with a piece of paper and a pen and I just wrote like what I thought the rest of the story would be. Um, except for instead of like people with guns, I changed the characters to like, cause I was really into the Brian Jacques Redwall books, which are all about like mice that murder each other and stuff. <laughs> and so I changed it to uh, rodents with guns that shot sunflower seeds. So it was less violent and therefore more appropriate for a 10 year old, I guess. <laughs> well, thank you so much for yeah. this f really funny and great interview. Thank you. This was simply terrific. I got to be able to have a really fun time talking to illustrators and writers who have won and some that have competed. I hope you guys had a lot of fun at this barbecue event, and I hope to see you guys soon at the 34th Annual Writers and Illustrators of the Future event. It's happening at the Mark Arthur April 8th at 6 p.m. You guys can be able to watch it live, but you can't attend because it's too full. So you guys can also watch it on my channel where you'll see some magic tricks up my sleeve and be able to get some magic scoops. I'll see you guys later. This is me, Morgan Brian Birch. Signing out on Kids First, we tell your kids what they should be watching by real kids, not adults. Au revoir!